the delay. <laughs> hey, what's up? Recently, I had a couple of my childhood shred guitars fully restored, and both of these guitars were in pretty poor condition, to say the least. At least. <laughs> I pulled them both out on a, um, a live stream back in the spring, and man, I couldn't get a single note out of either, either one of them. The, the electronics, the trem parts were missing. They were really needing a little TLC from my guitar tech. Today, the guitar I'm gonna show you is a Tony McAlpine Signature BC Rich. Uh, it's this guy right here. It's got some really interesting things going for it. So I thought I would just fire it up um, into the Polychrome DSP McLaughlin Suite, try a couple of my favorite presets that I've been using recently, and uh, just hear how it sounds. Uh, the other guitar that I'm gonna show you on a future video is a, um, it's a Hamer guitar. It's a Steve, C Steve Stevens signature model. But we're gonna start off with the Tony McAlpine. Ah! It doesn't wanna come off the stand! I thought you were fully restored. <laughs> what happened? It's crackling away. It does have a few little creaks in the wiring on the pickups. Oh, that feels a little loose. I'm gonna be very gentle with that. This is a Tony McAlpine signature BC Rich from maybe 86, 87, 88. You know, please let me know. It's 22 fret, which you know, I, I don't love because it only goes to D. I'm gonna use a preset called Party Lead to start things off. <laughs> Totally wise, stands up pretty well. This is a fairly hot humbucker and it's still got a juicy amount of output for its old age. What's really kind of unique about this guitar is we have like this three way selector here, but it actually just turns each one of the pickups on. So for example, if I turn that off, it's pretty much dead, like 99% dead. If I turn this guy on. Incidentally, that pickup is probably my favorite sounding one. I really like that and it sounds really good with cleans. If we put two switches down, we get two single coils together. <laughs> And then we can put all three switches down for three pickups together, which... I've never really heard in a, in a modern guitar, and I think it sounds quite unique. It's like we get the full juiciness of the humbucker with a little bit of sparkle from the single coils. The old Floyd Rose, let's do a little flutter test here. She's still got a little bit of bounce in her. The guitar is on the heavier side of things. I'm not sure what the body wood is. And playing it, it feels the equivalent of driving a car with no power steering. It's like, ugh. When I pick up like a modern Kiesel, it's like it's so effortless to play them right to the edge of your abilities where this guitar feels like you just need to use a little bit more brute force to make it happen. But it's still got a lot of character. And um, yeah, I mean, sentimental values for sure is, is massive with this guitar. I'm really glad that it's restored. So let's, um, let's check out a couple of tones here. Liquid lead. <laughs> R&B clean. Let's try that single coil with R&B clean. Let's try both pickups together, the two single coils. That's nice. Let's try that with a, a chorus on here. Ooh. 
with those two single coils together, it almost sounds like a Piazzo type of pickup, but it's actually just passive single coils. But then again, I am using this new speaker chain from the Sonic Empire update, and this particular clean speaker chain has a little bit of the acoustic engine in, so that'll be why it's kind of a little bit more sparkly than uh, usual. All right, let's try a preset called The Rage. <laughs> There's a couple of tones from the Polychrome DSP McRocklin suite with this Tony McAlpine signature BC Ridge from back in the late 80s. So don't forget the Hamer video will be coming soon, but that's not all. I've also got a couple of mental, totally mental keezels en route, and one of which I guarantee is going to blow your mind because I haven't dropped a single hint at what this guitar is going to be. So make sure you get subscribed for that, and I'll see you back here real soon. Take care. Cheers. Bye.